Yeah, I just picked up the boy from Pee Wee Tryouts today. Maybe he'll be like the old man, you know, out there wheeling, sniping, selling, just like the old man back then. Hey, don't slam the fucking tailgate. Yeah, I don't know why he's gotta take it so serious, you know, like, I guess I understand he just wants me to turn out perfect like him, you know, but uh, all I'm saying is we're bo we both played Pee Wee Tier 5, so fuck, we're pretty similar, actually. You know, me and the old man, we've been, uh, we've been really working on my game over the offseason. You know, he's been helping me practice with my stick handles. He said, uh, he told me hockey's a lot like golf, you know, that's why the sports go together so well. Every time you stick handle, he told me you're supposed to take a chunk out of the ice, and he told me, you know, I gotta use my skates more when I'm in the corners, uh, like kicking guys and stuff, and uh, honestly, he's, he's had some solid advice for me, but I just don't know why we gotta take it so serious, you know, it's... It's Pee Wee Tier 5, man. Get the fuck in the truck. Let's go. Come on. Fuck. All day. All day long. Ticky talk. Don't slam the fucking door. You fucking... Are you vaping in the truck, Brad? You're vaping in the truck. No, what do, you, what, do you, what do you mean, no? There's smoke. You want to know there, where there wasn't smoke coming from? The tail end of your ass. Move Just fucking cement feet out there. Absolute cement feet out there. The old man never skated like that. You look like a, you had a fucking piano tied to your ass, Brad. Well, my lungs are all fucked. What do you expect? Well, do you know, you're out here doing ticky talk dances and fucking vaping. Why don't you get addicted to hockey? Why don't you get addicted to hockey? That's what we did as kids. And we didn't vape, okay? We didn't vape. We smoke cigarettes like young men should. Well, I got a dip in right now, too. Well, that's good. At least one thing of you. I taught you one good thing. 13 years old and you're finally fucking getting it. Sorry, I didn't mean to seem like I was quitting out there. You know, I've just been not really focusing on hockey. I've been focusing on getting a job lately. A, what do you mean a job? A job? The yeah. hell you need a job for? Like, you know? Uh, to, to make money and work and stuff. This is your job, Brad. This is your job, okay? Your job is to get half decent at this game, and we're going to get you to the NHL, okay? Where I then step into the fucking pitcher frame, okay? Being a better father, being the good father I am, you get me a nice little retirement home in Palm Beach, Florida, where I can kick my feet up and golf, like every dad should be doing. Uh, you think I'm going to take you to Florida? I think, I know, you know. Like, I know I've made some mistakes in my life, like that night when... Uh, you know, your mother was uh, in that tight leather dress. It was 96. She was looking good. And I had too many. She had too many. And next thing you know, one bathroom leads to fucking 13 years later, I got you in my back seat. So you won't drop me off at school, but I'm supposed to drop you off at Palm Springs. That's how this works, Brad. You know, I see you out there, Brad, and it, it just infuriates me because, you know, if I was out there playing against those kids that you're playing, I would, I'd skate fucking circles around them. I'd skate circles around them all day long, and, and here you are just, I don't know what you're doing. You're toe-picking at fucking red lines. You're just losing the puck in battles. You got to battle hard. You got to dig deep down low. Well, I mean, of course you'd win if you were out there. You're 37 years older than all of them. It's not the point, Brad. It's not the point! Do we seriously have to do this again this year? Like, I thought you said this year I could just go out there and have fun with my buddies and just play a sport, you know? Like, I didn't think it was going to be a big fucking scene again this year. Like, tell me you're not going to kick the coach's ass one more time. Okay, first off, Brad, it was one time, all right? And I, t and I promised your mother... I would never drink whiskey in the parking lot at the rink again. But, like, those six refs were all 15 years old, man. If you add up their age, it accumulates to the age of a full-grown man. And I look at it like that. There were six of them, one of me, and he made a horrible call. Okay, that offside, you could see from fucking tuck 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 all right? And second of all... Hockey is more than just having fun with your buddies, okay? It's a way of living. It's a lifestyle. And it's a way to make money, Brad. I'm not going to apologize to you for your bad money management. You invested all this in, in uh, hockey. It's like you should have just bought me a bunch of Katy Perry snippets I could dance to on the internet. 
Tiki Talks? That's what you want to do with your buddies? You want to just do Tiki Talks all day long? Well, that's not going to happen. Not in my house. Because we're men. We don't dance, okay? This isn't Saturday night fucking fever. I love you dearly. And I promise I won't ma make an embarrassment of you. As long as you never pass on a two-on-one ever again. I want you shooting high. You got to be selfish out there. How, el how else are you going to make a name for yourself? Yeah, I want my name to be guy who hits the glass on every shot. My old man used to cut out the Sunday paper there, all the goals your old man used to score, hey? And then, and then he would hang them up on the fridge. And shortly after, he'd take me to the garage and beat me with a shillelagh, but that's besides the fact. It, it, it's just, you give the old man something to brag about. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I got a ukulele too. It works great in my TikToks. Oh god. Oh god. You make my head hurt, kid. Oh, fuck. I gotta get a job, get out of this town, man. I gotta I can't turn out like one of these pathetic old washed up hockey dads. Fuck. That's it. We're going home. You can dress there, and then we're driving back, and I'm gonna watch you walk in there. With the shame of being a home dresser. <laughs> Why do you have to treat me like this, Dad? Well, that's just uh, <laughs> it's the way it goes, son. That's the way it goes. A little tough love, you know. All you, these, everybody's always uh, millennials, Gen Y, Gen Gen Z, all this shit. Time to toughen up. A little tough skin never hurt nobody. That dad that never read the news, you know, has fucking <laughs> yeah. politics on his brain, man. It's yeah. kind of stupid. He's always impeaching somebody. Yeah, fuck. Everybody's impeaching someone like who's <laughs> not the president every day. <laughs> Impeach him.